Weather from where you live. The history of hard killing freezes at West Lafayette since 1887. Well, typically we reach 25 degrees or less pretty close to Halloween. Now, the earliest we've gotten to 25 degrees or less was back in September of 1995. On the 23rd, we dropped right to 25, but the latest way back in 1890 on the Purdue University campus. Yeah, it wasn't until November 28th that we dropped to 25 or less. Cold night on the way as these very spotty little snow and sleet showers near uh, Grissom Air Reserve Base, Peru, and also Walton and Deacon push southeastward and weaken. We also have a couple near Rossville, Dayton, and also near Colfax working southeastward. And these will be out of here with time this evening. And we'll start to get some clearing. You can see the holes in the low clouds northwest of here as this little clipper pulls away. And that's what will allow the very cold night. Likely overall the coldest night of the season so far with the hard freeze, but a nice warm up on the way. A lot of windy weather, not only Saturday, but also next week with the 60s returning and also some showers and storms. 36 tonight at 9, but we'll drop down to 25 for at the bus stop in the morning. Back to 40 by 11 a.m. tomorrow. And area wide will be in the mid 20s tonight, perhaps low 20s at Morocco with 24, 27 Covington, 26 Thorntown, and 26 degrees at Logansport. Tomorrow we're in the 40s, about 45 to 50, 47 Lafayette, 49 Fowler, 46 Burlington. And by Saturday, big warm up will be in the 50s from 56 Burlington, even 60 at Covington, and 57 degrees at Lafayette, Romney, and Linden. You can see future cast indicating the clearing skies tonight. We'll start, our, start out sunny to mostly sunny tomorrow morning. Then a few cumulus clouds bubbling up tomorrow. So we'll call it a partly cloudy afternoon. But tomorrow night, a few high and mid level clouds come in. And for Saturday, a cold front will approach. It may produce a few clouds, but overall a mostly sunny day. And even Saturday night looks like clear skies. That's 2 o'clock in the morning. There is the front on Saturday. It'll come through dry, but it will funnel, it, funnel in strong winds from the southwest, perhaps up to 35 miles an hour at times. Then next week, strong storm system will bring a lot of wind, warmth, and showers and storms of the area with heavy snow northwest of here. But for Halloween, looks windy right now, cooler, and right now it looks dry. We're going to have to watch that secondary low down there in Georgia. If that moves a little farther northwest, we may have to introduce a little rain to Halloween, but right now it looks dry. 53 Sunday after 57 Saturday, but 65 on Tuesday with showers and storms developing. 64 shower storms Wednesday, and right now for Halloween, 47 cooler, kind of breezy to windy, mostly cloudy skies. A lot of people happy about these flurries, not me necessarily. Oh, yeah, but everyone was excited. <laughs> sure, a big difference. Right? Oh, sure Thanks, Chet. Thanks, sure. Chet. Don't forget the annual Coats for Kids drive ends tomorrow, so there's still a little time to donate your